Welcome to Ask TACMAN. This is where we answer your questions about real-time PCR. Here's a good question I get a lot. What's this ROCKS I keep hearing about, and what's its function in real-time PCR? Well, much like FAM, VIC, and CyberGreen, ROCKS is a fluorescent molecule that the real-time instrument can detect when it's present in the reactions. But unlike those other dyes, ROCKS is a passive dye, meaning its fluorescent level doesn't change as a direct result of amplification. Instead, ROCKS just sits there. Now, you may be asking, what's the point? Well, within any real-time PCR system, there are several potential sources of well-to-well -well variability in the excitation of the reporter molecule, and therefore in the detection of signal from the reporter. These include uneven illumination, slight variations in the optics from well to well, and even differences in the amount of condensation. ROCKS normalizes for these and other sources of variability, and in the process improves the precision of the data. Well, here's how it works. Say that we're looking at two specific wells on my reaction plate. I pipette exactly the same amount of the same sample into each, and then amplify in real time. A short time later, we reach oh, cycle 30. As at every cycle, the instrument will take a reading of my reporter die. I expect those two readings to be identical, since I started with the same reaction components. Unfortunately, they're not, due to a system inconsistency between these two wells. Relatively speaking, these measurements are incorrect. Fortunately, we also have rocks in these same two wells, and like the reporter, it's also being measured. And look, it's actually shadowing the reporter. In other words, the system inconsistency is affecting rocks to the same degree that it's affecting the reporter. Importantly, the instrument will collect these paired measurements in every well at every cycle, and then divide every reporter measurement by its corresponding rocks measurement at the end of the run. As a result, the precision of our data goes way up. Oh, by the way, the value that results is called RN, which stands for normalized reporter. Two key points about rocks. With a couple of specialized exceptions, the real-time master mixes from life technologies already contain optimized level of rocks when they arrive at your door. So there's no need to add it. Second, the default in all applied biosystems real-time PCR software is to look for and normalize to rocks. This is important to know because if for some reason you decide to use a master mix that doesn't contain rocks, you'll want to change the passive reference dye to none. Otherwise, the software will attempt to normalize to a dye that's not there. Not a good thing. And don't forget to submit your questions to us for future Ask TACMAN videos. You can do so on Facebook, Twitter, or at lifetechnologies.com forward slash Ask TACMAN. Thanks for watching. Thank you.